Our wheel just got dropped off. I just dropped off Al and Kevin, and they got the trucks running. I'm gonna see if I get this tractor to start. It's not plugged in, but it's not super cold out either, so. Hey, I've been looking for that. That's not good. This is getting old. Well, the tractor's running, warming up here. Would have liked to unhook it, run into the building and plug it in last night, but we kind of ran out of time and had to get home in a hurry last night. So definitely we'll be doing that next time, just to save us some time in the morning and easier on the tractor. But about ready to start loading, head to the elevator. Next in line for the uh, sample, been editing. I don't know how long I've been sitting here, hour maybe. I've placed through this video, so. The bag's got a lot shorter already. I don't know what we got left. At least two loads, maybe? Cool. While the tractor's warming up here a little bit, I'll show you guys how this thing all works. Down inside the bag here, there's a couple uh, augers that bring the grain to the center. This go Then it goes up the tube and it'll go out into the truck. Uh, this r roller here is what rolls up the bag. It uh, is a hydraulic motor runs through there and then the bag stays underneath the tractor. These controls here run everything so this one is what swings the auger which is really handy because then we can uh, we don't have to move the truck very much because we've got quite a range that we can swing back and forth here. Uh, this one is a tilt for when you're putting it into position. This one will steer the wheels so you make sure you're tracking correctly. This one is what feeds it into the bag. Makes a sweet snowmobile jump, like, wow! Kevin's gonna finish loading his load. Just about there, I'm gonna take off. trucks I just met are trucks that are going to be hauling feed wheat uh, that we contracted through FBN. It's heading up to Canada to a feedlot. We didn't know that FBN uh, also does crop marketing and will uh, find decent markets for some stuff to sell grain. So we contracted this stuff back a little while ago when we weren't really sure what the feed wheat market was going to be like. So picked up for about the same price as we uh, are delivering to the elevator locally here for. So. Saving us a little money there, making us a little more money, I should say. Al and I 
and are gonna swap trucks. I'm gonna figure out how to empty out a grain bag. There goes one FBN full of the feed wheat. We're just getting down to the end of the bag here, and it's gonna be an experiment. This is the first bag. And we got a problem. When we fill these bags, they kind of fold it over on the end like that instead of just going straight out. And I got dug into that. So I'm gonna try pulling ahead maybe. I don't know, I might have a mess and might have a lot of shoveling to do here. We'll see. Well, that didn't exactly go as planned. So I got a few scoops to make with the tractor bucket now. So I've been wearing these Ariat work boots that are waterproof. And I was a little skeptical that they were actually gonna be waterproof, but I've been wearing them for about, I don't know, four or five days this past week hauling grain and stuff. And in and out of the truck in the snow, the boots have been wet, but my socks haven't. Really impressed. Links in the description. You uh, should look into getting a pair. Tony's working and what are we doing, Natalie? Playing! Playing! What are you two goons doing? Uh, here, we'll show you. Come on. I don't know where it bounced me to. Taking text drives. Excuse me. Can I run over this cord? Morning, windmill. Oh, dang it. Morning, Kevin. Morning. Well, we put some fuel in the tractor. We got it hooked up. We pulled it off the uh, unloader Friday night, put it in the shed and plugged it in. So that was a lot better than messing around for 45 minutes trying to jumpstart it today. We already loaded the uh, triple axle trailers on Friday night. We got this other grain bag started here. So we just got to fill Kevin's truck yet. We weren't really sure on who we all had to drive. If Al was going to be able to help us again today or not, so he is back. Should be getting over here any minute now and taking off with his loaded truck. And we're going to load up Kevin and get him on the road. And it's snowing. Rookie. He's really not a rookie. I just like to give him a hard time. Loading. Or is it unloading? I'm backing up at the crest of the hill here, trying to get my truck up on top so I can wait for the snowplow. 
it's like I pulled my trailer brakes and I looked in the mirror and my trailer brakes were skidding so I'm trying to get back up on top. I'm gonna have to yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit here with my flashes on I guess. If there's slick and empty trucks can't even make it up the hill so neighbors getting pulled by a pickup Slide sideways. our pickup is working hard oh that's funny. here comes al up the hill having no trouble because of the triple axle trailer versus the doubles to you guys that say we should pull doubles this is one of the drawbacks of pulling doubles <laughs> Kevin and Al are just shoveling the last little bit left out of the grain bag uh, into the bucket. This one went great at the end. Didn't tear out like the last one did. So it's like about two tractor bucket fulls, not even probably two full ones is all that's left in the bag. So kind of like this system. Not, uh, not near as much work as shoveling out a grain bin. Oh boy, does that feel good to have those two grain bags hauled up at least. Al's gonna finish loading out of a hopper bin and uh, the trucks are gonna get dumped at the elevator and go home and get washed. Al's just unloading. He got three loads hauled today. Uh, Kevin and I both got two and we are heading to the shop to get stuff washed up because the roads were sloppy. It's been like four days to wash a truck so I mean better better keep fresh on it right?
make it into the shop about six inches of snow on the ground here Kevin pulled into the neighbors because the visibility was so bad I'm gonna clear some snow out here so we can get uh, everybody in the yard and in the shop and whatever we need to do There's so much ice under the snow that we can't get tracked with the skids to pull that. Guess we'll go try the front wheel assist tractor we have here in the shed, see if that'll start. I just want to wash my trucks. That's so much to ask. Now we're going to use the tow rope. Get, see if we get a little stretch to it. If we move it like a foot, I guarantee you that truck's coming out. So. That's what we'll try next. That was a good one. Almost lost you there for a minute. Well, that one's finally in the shop. Now let's go dig out the other one. There's two more trucks showing up here this evening and since it snowed so much I gotta go plow that yard out now too. So far the yard don't look too bad. No, never mind. Oh that's a big one. And that's a big one. Weed heading to the Piedmont Canna. Uh, contact your FBN. If you need more information about FBN, click in the link down in the description and you can uh, learn what FBN all has to offer. Yard light just shut off. That was weird. Well, I guess I know what I'm doing today. Oh, well, good morning, Roger. How are you? Huh? Huh, good morning, windmill. Snow is all moved in the yard, two trucks are washed. One more to do tomorrow, Kevin's gonna do that. I'm taking off for Commodity Classic uh, in the morning. So I'll be down there for the rest of the week. And uh, thanks for watching guys. And don't forget to subscribe, like the video. Got uh, any comments or questions you wanna send me, go ahead and put those down below and uh, you'll catch me next video.